call myself a Rube Goldberg expert. Um, I guess more specifically, Rube Goldberg machine expert. Zach Umparovich is really good at making really easy tasks look hard. A Rube Goldberg machine is something that takes energy um, and transfer it, transfers it from one step to the other or one object to another. So as long as you're taking a simple task and making it incredibly, incredibly complicated, that can be considered Rube Goldberg. More people might be familiar with the term chain reaction device. Although many might think of the game Mousetrap or the famous OK Go video, there is quite a bit of history behind these hypnotizing machines. Rube Goldberg was a cartoonist in the early 1900s who drew these crazy contraptions that took a simple task and made it extremely complicated. To create a machine that will start itself, overcome all friction, and still have enough power left to do useful work. In short, perpetual motion machines. From that, uh, the machines themselves grew into a competition between fraternities at Purdue in the 80s uh, and then turned into what is known as the Engineering Olympics of America. That's how I got thrown into the mix. Really, building Rube Goldberg machines started earlier than that for Zach. I actually started building these when I was three years old. Uh, there's pictures of me tinkering with um, I took apart my hamster's cage using that tubing and I ran marbles down this tube into a box and the box slid down the stairs and knocked over a book. Since then, his machines have become a little more complicated. Currently we're in Merrimack, New Hampshire in the uh, 21 Continental Company's uh, facility where they've been gener enough, generous enough to loan me all of this office equipment. Uh, this year's machine is for Wolf Greenfield. Uh, they're a law firm based out of Boston, as well as now New York City. Uh, they hired me to build this gigantic machine that all it does is just simply say, Happy Holidays. visited the set and learned that getting a pencil to start a microwave or a bowling ball to smash a printer isn't always an exact science. Oh. So are we safe in this area? Probably. It'll probably work. So let's make sure this thing still works. So what makes Zach a mad scientist of Rube machines? Believe it or not, he's actually a geologist, not an engineer. I'm a very type A person. I like lists. I like, you know, everything going according to plan. Rube Goldberg is the exact opposite. You're challenging Murphy's law, trying to take a type A personality and work it around a type B person, a type B setting. Uh, well, makes my life interesting for certain. Zach gives each and every build his all. And like with this latest project, that can mean up to a month of around the clock tinkering, testing, and reworking. At least during, we call it Rube season for me. Don't try to talk to me about anything else. This is our wedding anniversary two days ago, which we were postponing till November because um, I remembered while buying glow sticks to shoot out of the can, it's like, oh, I should buy her a card. Zach normally builds out in L.A., so being able to be close to home for this project was a major bonus. By far, biggest client is ESPN, um, ESPN Sports Nation. Another 
big one was Peddler's Village. It's an outdoor mall in Pennsylvania. Uh, and that was a machine designed to run every 10 minutes outside uh, for three months long. So that was a different beast. artist says it isn't the easiest way to make a living, but from hamster cages to Christmas lights, he has just the right ingredients to make really cool machines. Persistence and um, a good imagination and a pile of junk, as I think Thomas Edison said. And all that hard work, well, it makes one heck of a Christmas card.